Hi, I'm Kate from Fleet Feet, and today I'm here to talk to you about the new Mizuno Wave Horizon 4. Here it is! If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to download the Fleet Feet app, which has lots of great opportunities to win things, trade in the miles that you run for prizes of all sorts. Let's talk about the specs of the shoes. It is a max cushion plush stability trainer, much like the Mizuno Wave Knit Wave Sky that came out last year. This shoe has gone through some really big changes. The biggest one that you'll notice if you are a Mizuno fan is that it does not have a wave plate. So no plastic, it's gonna look different. You're not gonna have that little space here that you may get a piece of gravel stuck in on a regular basis. To the specs of this shoe, it retails for $160. The weight is 9.2 ounces for women's, 11.3 ounces for men's. It's a 10 millimeter drop, stability, trainer, and it's designed for the road of the track. So let's talk about the fit and materials. We've got an engineered upper here. It's one where when you put it on, it may feel a little snug. That was my experience with it but even though it doesn't feel super stretchy per se, it does have a nice amount of give to it. Some of our other wear testers said that after they ran in it for about a mile, they felt that it really loosened up and became super comfortable. Mizuno has really changed the upper here. Um, it's got a much more sleek design than in the past. Kudos to Mizuno for really cleaning this up, giving us a nice smooth silhouette. We've got fewer overlays than in the past, just really nice and smooth with this engineered mesh. We've got a smaller logo here. The laces, unfortunately, I found a little bit short. So they do have this extra eyelet here, which a lot of folks like to use to, to really snug it up, make sure the heel fits well, maybe do that marathon loop lacing system. And the laces are really just kind of short to make that happen. So when you, when you do that you end up with a tiny little bow, which isn't my favorite part. For the midsole, there are some really big changes here. And the very biggest part is that there is not a wave plate. So the way that Mizuno achieves the stability that the Wave Horizon is known for is by using different densities of foam. Typically, we get different densities of foam where it's just a denser foam only here in the medial side of the shoe. But rather than having different foams on the different side, it's the same foam all around, but the way that it's cut and structured is different. So you can see that the waves have a rectangular shape on the medial side of the shoe, and on the lateral side, it's rounded. And the way that they have set this up makes it so that this denser foam compresses less on the medial side. So if you're an overpronator and your foot is rolling inward as you're running, it's gonna compress less and it's gonna give you a more stable ride. It also has the X-pop foam, which it's a really nice bouncy kind of foam. It gives you kind of a floating feeling when you're running. It is a max cushion trainer, so it's going to be ideal for your long runs and and for one of those recovery runs where you just want something that's gonna give you a little bit more cushion for your run. My top three favorite things about this shoe. Number one, stability with no post. I love that, I really, really do. Number two, we've got this really nice, clean looking mesh and it also has a really accommodating feel. And number three, the softness of the cushion. It just has a really great step and feel. It's a perfect shoe for those long or easy days.